world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, I have been able to share my own experiences on what it's like for me to live with Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you that are on the spectrum. I also will speak with friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody in the community as well as professionals. And then I will uh, blog about things that I'm passionate about that are not related to autism. But before I dive into this afternoon's topic, I have a few things to mention. So number one, please be sure to click up here in the upper right hand corner. This is a TEDx talk that was done a few years back by uh, a young man named uh, Adam Harris. And the name of his uh, talk is called um, Autism as a Disability. I also will post his information below. I also would like to let you know that I have a series of written blogs on WordPress.com, which are practical application and scholarly. And you can find those under Hello World 240 at WordPress.com. That's Hello World 240 at WordPress.com. And finally, I wanted to let you guys know that I am going to be seen at a couple of autism conferences coming up within the next couple of months. So next month, I'm going to be doing a talk up at the Chattanooga Autism Conference uh, on um, steps to becoming independent for uh, people with autism and Asperger's. And next month after that, I'm going to be at uh, the Autism Conference and Exposition of Georgia. And you can find out about those conferences below as well. So... Anyway, what I wanted to do was uh, talk about something that really caused me to fire up my blogs. So as you guys know, this is daylight saving time and a lot of people are sleeping in and they're jet lagged or, you know, get that kind of jet laggy time travel feel or you feel wonky. But anyway, as uh, I got up this morning, I decided to look at my Twitter account. And as I was promoting the autism conference for Atlanta, I had stumbled upon a quote by somebody that was talking about uh, how their uh, daughter is obsessed with Buzz Lightyear and they're 33 years old. And being who I am, I follow a lot of things by Temple Grandin. I read a lot of her stuff. And her suggestion is that uh, you need to broaden the horizons of someone with autism. And so my suggestion to uh, this person was that... Uh, uh, she pr particularly uh, gets her child interested in things like space, like um, astronomy and astronauts, because Buzz Lightyear is an astronaut. And, of course, we went back and forth, and uh, she was telling me how um, her daughter is uh, childlike and considers Buzz Lightyear her boyfriend. And she was also talking about how she had tried to get her interested in space things, but her daughter just wasn't interested because Buzz Lightyear wasn't in them. So the question I asked after that was, well, uh, did you consider uh, finding any educational things that have Buzz Lightyear in them? Because I know sometimes Disney and Pixar uh, takes uh, famous Disney characters and puts them into educational things to get kids more engaged in learning and science. And uh, I wanted to uh, give some advice out there to you grown-ups and to some of you that are living outside of the autism spectrum that uh, don't understand what's going on, but rather they're looking in. Uh, first of all, just because they're not interested or they don't appear to be interested doesn't mean that you cannot teach them. Now, there are workarounds, like in my case, um, where I suggested that that lady find something with the uh, with space and Buzz Lightyear in it in an educational format. Or perhaps uh, get a uh, replica of a Buzz Lightyear action figure or a replica of a uh, astronaut uh, action figure and you compare the two and you say Buzz Lightyear is an astronaut and, you know, and th this is an astronaut. And then you also uh, teach them what the word infinity means. As you know, Butler's Lightyear's famous to infinity and beyond is uh, actually um, a word that's used in mathematics. Now, the word infinity, as you know, means continuous. So what you want to do is you want to teach your daughter that infinity means um, forever, beyond. So 
that's how you engage them and that's how you gradually broaden their horizons. And other things you could probably do are like have a space theme party and have Buzz Lightyear in them. And then you could uh, take some uh, rubber balls or some planets and make it more visual and then put names on each planet. And then you have her touch the planets and you say, this is Mars. This is Jupiter. This is Saturn. Anything. But the reason why I said that is, yes, I mean, she's a 33-year-old woman, but it also means that um, her brain is not going to stop growing. And the best thing you need to do is expose her to many things as possible. And even if uh, you can't do it, it might be uh, best for you to uh, find a mentor, or a mentor for your daughter that's uh, really interested in space. You know, because sometimes um, being around mom is kind of embarrassing. So, anyway... If you liked what I talked about, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Also know that I do vlogs every Sunday and Monday, and on occasion when I have big news. Uh, again, if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, and be sure to share my videos with your friends, and your family members, peers, mentors, and be sure to share these with uh, people in the autism community, period. And be sure to subscribe and uh, Continue sharing my videos at your uh, college lectures. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off.